Hello, Dave Beamer here again. Just want to share with you an interesting observation I've correlated. The Hill of Tara in Ireland is a very sacred site. Uh, it's where the ancient space people, the Shi, came to uh, set up their uh, well, their outpost or or doorway uh, to their nether realm. And uh, although I'm alluding from lining up with the belief of the Shi, which are probably uh, fallen watchers, I would like to make the correlation with this and another recent space discovery. It's uh, what they're calling Earth's second moon. And um, it's not really Earth's second moon, but it's a moon that goes around the sun in a kidney shape uh, spiral graphic, almost like a spiral graph, um, uh, concentric orbits around the sun. Uh, it's got like a horseshoe orbit. Um, well, I'll go from this Ireland photo to um, some interesting land formations on the moon. Theme. And here we go. We'll just zoom in on that. Does anyone else here notice the correlation with the ancient mounds in Ireland? I know uh, I've made correlations on moon features before, but I'd like to allude to this one being. Uh, exactly the same as those ancient mounds we just looked at. Now, if I zoom in even more here, oh, this moon, right here, you can see um, almost like a B-52 would have a um, a gull wing shape to it. It looks like it's got like a C-5 cargo airplane tail and some drooping uh, wings here. Might be another one of those space planes like what's parked in uh, Copernicus and even uh, northern areas of the moon. So anyway, Earth's moon, by, by the way, this is what they're calling Earth's second moon. It actually orbits the sun and it does kidney shapes, shaped loops uh, and it comes very close uh, to Earth in stellar terms. Uh, every year uh, autumn uh, near the South Pole, I think the closest it's going to come to us is 45 million miles. And so technically it doesn't orbit the Earth, so it's not Earth's moon, even though it's called our second moon, but it rotates in kidney-shaped spirographic orbits close to our planet, relatively close, and it orbits the Sun in a horseshoe orbit, which is very strange. They say they have the math for it. I don't believe it. <laughs> Here you have almost like a spider-like uh, base of some kind. It's like a geodome with uh, things going into it. There's like a pipe system here. Anyway, I want to show you this area here. Yeah, it looks like some kind of uh, space vessel. And uh, I've even found an area on this which has what you might call rectangular uh, buildings or skyscrapers in this area here in this dark area if you guys download this picture and zoom in on it you'll find them in here there's like rectangular buildings standing up here like skyscrapers could be shadows I'm not sure but what I am sure is this correlates with these patterns here with some mounds in Ireland and that's Cruthene what's being called Earth's second moon, which is actually orbiting the sun. goes around there uh, once a year, but it makes an exceptionally close pass to us every 365 years. And uh, the closest it gets to us is uh, 45 million miles. And um, it's closest approach to be seen by telescopes uh, near the South Pole. Anyway, have fun comparing those two things. I'll Put you back to the mounds in Ireland here, just a second. <laughs>
There's my moon space base. Um, it's what I'm alluding to, actually. So we'll go back to the mounds. And uh, please notice my correlation on this. I will send this off to YouTube via my phone and uh, have fun with it. That's one of my more recent observations. Thank you very much. I'm Dave Beamer and uh, have fun with the information.